Uh, there's so much noise. My house is so dark. I don't know where to go. Overcast. My sister took my car. I don't know what to do. What? <laughs> Mom, your pumpkin muffins almost busted me in the head. Oh, so she's moving. I look at her. She's got. I don't pay much attention. Logan. Oh, you know your name? What? What? You're advanced for your, for such a little age, she, oh, kind of. You're, you're still eating a, a Duplo block, though. Play. Yeah. Like, cookies are a lot better. We should teach you how to eat cookies. How are you guys doing this week? Hope you're doing fantastic. Let me show you what happened with me this week. It's pretty awesome. Actually, not that awesome. I just, okay, whatever. I'm in, I need to focus. I, I'm in my mom's car, actually, because my sister took my car. It's overcast, my house is really dark, even when the sun's out. So I was like, I gotta find somewhere to do this. Let me go out in the car. Bada bing, bada boom, I'm out in the car. We're gonna start off. Sadly, I had to say goodbye to the C100 this week. Had a little something to say about it, about the whole process. So this is gonna be, we're gonna be saying goodbye to the C100. Okay, so yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so uh, in case you guys are wondering, I just have a kit lens on my 60D, which is a 18 to, to 135. So in case you were wondering, it does fit on the C100. And I am using the 24 to 70 on the 60 right now to shoot this clip. And I, I'm really seeing a difference here. This is pretty nice. And it's also nice that this aperture can go all the way up to 2.8 because I live in a dark house and having a wide aperture is is very necessary. So, uh, you messing up my vlog here. Oh, sorry. Go on. To fix that later. Um, we just shot my mom's cooking cooking episode, cooking show, and she made this this banana pear deliciousness. That that's literally what she called it. She probably you probably can't hear me see me because I'm in the light. But that's literally what she called it. Anyway, so now she wants me to try this. And I am in, I'm living in Smurfville right now. What do you think? Yeah? Tastes good. Tastes good. So, if you guys want to see that episode, it probably won't be up yet. <laughs> but, I'll leave my mom's page in the little I section over there. Or, that or, and or, uh, links in the, in the description. Okay, but back to what I was saying over here. I have to pack this guy up. It's time to say goodbye. I'll cry if you need to, but I can't stay to watch you. That's the wrong thing to do. I'm just kidding. Again, don't get attached to an, an, an inanimate object. I know I only had this for a few days, but it's fine. I had a great time with this camera. I'm gonna miss it. And this lens is kind of nice too. I'm kind of I'm really liking this lens. All right, so something I wanted to tell you guys as I pack this guy up, getting it ready for mailage, mailing it back. That if you are, oh boy, that is exactly what I don't wanna see. Where could I put that thing? Oh, there it is, okay. If you are lacking, I would say, ins inspiration, maybe, maybe you feel like you're going through a little bit of a dry spot creatively, like you usually make YouTube videos, but for some reason you're just kind of you're just kind of struggling a little bit. One thing that I that I found that helps me is renting a camera, renting some kind of gear. Uh, I would I would say you could you could borrow it from a friend or something. I feel that if you spend your own money, it's like I don't want to waste this money that I that I have. You know, I just ordered I just rented this thing, and here I am sitting on my butt watching TV when the camera that I rented is. Sitting in the, it's sitting in my room, not doing anything. So that's something that I found is very helpful for me. When I rented the 5D, when I rented this guy, I set up a little rule for myself to shoot something every day. I spent the money for this thing and I want to use it. I don't want to waste my money on something that I'm not going to use. So that's something that has helped me. With every, every day that I had this, I shot something, even if it was just like my mom and sister and my mom just talking. It may cost some money. I mean, to rent, obviously it's gonna cost some money. To rent the 5D was four days is 160 bucks. And that's just the body. But that's, that's just what I wanted to say. Oh gosh. 
Side note. I didn't realize there's a mic on this thing. This is the this is the top handle for the for the 700, the 500, the 200, 100. And there there's two little there's two mics right here, and I would have been using it for the whole time if I realized that. I thought it was just a handle, but it's not. So that's kind of a kind of a bummer. I don't know if it sounded any much any better than the mic that's built into it. But yeah, and I just realized I got to take my SD card out. There you got everything is here. Don't think I have anything left, so let's close it up and ship it back. All right, so next we have, I had a little photo shoot, had a little photo shoot, had another little photo shoot with some food, you know, relationship goals. So I wanted to document this for myself. Maybe I'll put this in this week's vlog. Whoop! There we go, manual focus. So I had to change up my lighting setup a little bit. I got the natural light from the window and then bounce card right there. And then I added my light that's going into the card, but it's also, let me see if I can turn it off here so you can see what it's doing. So you can kind of see that it's like lighting up a little bit of this area, a little bit of right here. Obviously if it was brighter outside, Probably wouldn't need this light, but you know, you do with what you got. You know, I gotta say that my transitions this week are not on point. You know, I, I usually try to do pretty good with the transitions, transitioning between one to the other, but this, this week might be kind of jumpy. I'll get back on my game next week. Speaking of next week, I tried to get the cinema done this week, but it didn't work. So, you know, here's a little snippet of it. Okay, that's all you get. That's all you get, sorry. Next on the agenda, I tried my first time cooking some enchiladas this week. Tapping into my inner Mexican heritage. So yeah, that's what that's what we did. That's what I did. That's gonna be this. That's what this is gonna be. Let's, let's, let's go. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try making chicken enchiladas for the first time. I don't think we've ever made I've never made them. Uh, chicken enchiladas before because you know, we're part Mexican. <laughs> you know, it's possible because my mom, she could be anything. Yeah, like we tried to even do an ancestry and we really didn't get, didn't get very far. We didn't get very far because we got basic names like John and Hughes and Smith. <laughs> Takes a while to find anybody on ancestry with that. Anyway, so that's what we're going to try to do. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but you'll be along with the journey with our journey in doing this, okay? All right. What are you doing? Let it go! If you guys were concerned about the amount of extra fat that you're adding to stuff, you can always... I'm cooking these, these onions right now with water, mm -hmm. and that seems to work out pretty well. I learned that little trick from my mom because she doesn't use a whole lot of oil in her cooking. So once these cook, I'm gonna put the chicken in it and a lot of water comes off of that. So I think we're gonna have a pretty low fat enchilada innards. Another trick for you guys, something that I like to do is I'm gonna spray some nonstick spray on this, on this pan right here. And I like to do it over the sink or over the trash because I've done it over like the kitchen floor and the overspray will land on the floor and you'll slip, fall, crack your head open, go to the hospital. Nobody wants that. So try to avoid the clean dishes you just washed too. So this I'm calling done. There might be a little bit of pink in some of the areas. Whoa but it's gonna bake for like 20 minutes, so I'm not too concerned about it. So now it's time to assemble them and throw them in the oven. Maybe just a little bit. Oh, Spin it down just a teeny, teeny. What are you doing? I'm making my own bootleg enchilada sauce with salsa and a little bit of water and vegetable broth. Did I hear you destroyed a blow dryer? I didn't destroy it on purpose. It wasn't like I dropped it. I just turned it. I was going, going, turned it over, and started making this terrible noise. Mm -hmm. All right, so you, you can't see it from there, but we have our, our chicken, pepper, onion mixture, some black beans, some bootleg enchilada sauce, and the baking dish. We also got our tortillas here, and I got my sister over there, but we're not going to show her face because she's indecent. <laughs> 
we're going to assemble them and they're going to end up on here and it's going to be delicious. Hers are probably going to be a lot more precisely made because I should show you guys how she makes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Don't be quiet. Got to spread the peanut butter to the eggs, to the sides, to the edges. As long as, long as I get most of the bread, mm -hmm. then I'm good. I think, so. I, think I made the, the chicken chunks too big because mm. theirs are much skinnier than that. Should we go through and cut the chicken chunks? Yeah. We'll be back. All right, so we diced up the chicken a little bit more so that our little enchiladas can be smaller. So, okay, I think that'll be better. Mm. It probably bug, bugs you because it's not even. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's like, I'll live with it. <laughs> it's going in for 20 minutes. 350. A few moments later. There's the insides of this thing, the innards. I still haven't tasted it, but my mom said I should show you the inside, so I'm just listening to her. So I just tasted it, just sampled. It pretty much tastes like chickens, beans, peppers, onions, which is what's in it. Uh, so I think going to an actual Mexican restaurant and going in there and getting some real Mexican... En enchiladas are Mexican, right? Yeah. So yeah, getting some getting some real Mexican food to have them have them do it with their little Mexican. Probably should stop saying Mexican. Either way, you can try it if you want. You can not try it. If you can you not try it if you want. Okay, this is this clip. Okay, let's just let's just stop it. What? <laughs> Mom, your pumpkin muffins almost busted me in the head. Oh, darn. If I was to get these again, if I was actually, I do I do want to get these in a real Mexican restaurant. I like to know the proper way of eating them. Because I feel kind of carnivorous and uncivilized. I think it's a fork and knife. What, you think it's a fork and knife? Yeah. So that's going to conclude it for this week's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. Let's get the five likes on this video. Come on. I mean, we, we, we can do it. We, can, we did it once. We did it before. Let's do it again. So yeah, no video coming out this Saturday. But hey, there's plenty of videos on my channel for you to check. Don't check any of my old ones. Don't do that. That's contemplating. I'm contemplating privating those. But, you know, i got to start out with the roots. So, yeah, there's plenty of videos for you to keep you entertained. Until next week's vlog, which is going to be this time, same place, same time, on Wednesday. I don't know about the time. It might be a little later, might be a little earlier. But it's going to be some point on Wednesday. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And let's just roll, let's roll the outro, bro. Let's freaking roll, let's roll the outro. Should I do a dab? Should I do a dab? I should do a dab.